Facebook friends. It's Hannah at the Doodle Bug and Jasper, Indiana, and coming to you live today with a little bit of a Facebook update. So I have lots of great new goodies to show you. Um, but I thought before I started to show you some of the new stuff, I would give you a few little updates as to some of the things that are going to be going on in the store. So today, uh, my friend Sean was up here, and Sean's posted quite a bit. She's done some classes, things like that. She um, does some stuff over in the Doodle Bug Dish, and she's also um, done some live videos and some different tutorials for me uh, as well. So today she came up again, and we did some brainstorming, and we have a few great new things coming up for you guys. So Tina Johnson, who is, first of all, an amazing crafter, She's a, like a whiz with her silhouette machine. She's like certified and bona fide with silhouette. Well, she has come up with some beautiful projects for you guys. And we are going to be kicking off a kind of, maybe not monthly, but every other month, some kind of fun little box of goodies. And there'll be some inspiration, project ideas, things like that to go with the kit. And so we, um, and how it's going to go is you'll you'll buy your kit. It'll have a little information sheet in there. And then it'll be in a private Facebook group. All right. Now, once you're in the group, you're in the group. So the first month is going to be September. So she's going to work on that. And then September's kit will go live. You'll get into the Facebook group. And if you don't do the, the next kit, that's okay. You're still going to be in the group. So you're still going to get lots of fun ideas and things like that. And hopefully it'll tempt you to maybe get what is in that kit and pick that kit up. But it'll be a great way to share inspiration and things like that using that kit. Those kits are going to be right at $34.99 each time. So I've got um, the first kit already planned projects done I know really I'm pretty shocked by it too I'm um, just waiting on and then Sean will get all that out and we'll get an email sent out and we'll start to ship those out and I already have stuff planned for the next one um, and I have um, somebody who's going to be working on that as well too so really excited two kits coming up um, and then, and we'll see how it goes and we'll go from there. But those will have its own little Facebook group, like I said, and it'll just be a really fun way to advertise those. So we worked on that today. Um, Leslie and I worked on some mystery boxes. So super excited for you guys because I know you love the mystery box time. Um, mystery boxes are going to be around like 40 to 50 bucks, something like that. They're, and they're a smoking deal. Um, she's putting product in them and I'm seeing her totals for the boxes. They're all um, at least $100 before tax. So huge deal with those mystery boxes and they're all different they may have some stuff that's kind of the same but they're all different so super fun with the mystery boxes so those will be coming up um, later this week after we're going to assemble probably about 10 of them to get them going um, and then we can kind of keep assembling them from there but i want to make sure we have a good um, amount ready to go for you guys so we can get those mystery boxes out to you so super fun there um and then i've got uh what else i've got a trade show a virtual trade show coming up so more fun stuff there and and did you guys see that we are having a september retreat so our september retreat is going to be actually at santa's lodge i didn't think it would be there um that was not the plan really really excited to get can mercy boxes to be shipped oh heck yeah that's why they are boxed up they can definitely be shipped good question you, you just pay actual shipping on them um because they're all a little bit heavier um they're about the same but yeah you'll just pay actual shipping on those but those definitely can be can be shipped good question and then we actually have that September re retreat. So September retreat is going to be 170 plus your room. So make sure you um, get your room reserved at Santa's Lodge. Or there are lots of other places to stay around there. You do not have to stay at the lodge with us. Local people commute, so you don't even have to stay at all. There are some really cute little cabins as well in in Santa Claus that you can rent. Um, so there's lots of great, there's some VRBOs there. So different things that you can do in that area if you don't want to stay at the lodge. And that's going to be September 30th, October 1st, October 2nd. So check your calendar. We would love to have you. If you can't make it to that one, we will have another retreat in November. But I don't have anything out for that yet um, just because I'm still working on September stuff so we brainstormed a little bit about some classes today for the September retreat and some things like that 
And one thing I did a little differently is I put the September retreat back online for you to sign up for. Okay, so it is back online. I think I need to update it under retreats tab though. I'm glad I said that. Gosh, so much to do, guys. Oh my gosh, it's like I feel like, oh, you might like an octopus with little tentacles everywhere, and 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 they're all just different brains and they're not they're not cooperating um so i'll make sure i get that on there but it is on the calendar so you can definitely sign up on the calendar part and and get that taken care of um and then what else what else what else oh and then we also sent out an email today about another class kit that we are doing with echo park so they do those super cute little mini books and this one uses the um, let's create line so it's going to be a crafting themed one. Oh, tina you had the weekend book you know it's okay i i didn't advertise the date because i wasn't for sure what i was even going to do because the lodge was booked um i had a couple weekends free and they did not have those free so i didn't know what i was going to do so i was going to do one here at the store um and just you know it was going to be more casual 20 people that's all i could hold and then i just thought well i'm going to check with them and she's like oh yeah that date opened up well there we go we're going to try it there so you know i will put a disclaimer out if we can't get enough to fill that room or cover the cost then we'll move it here at the store but i don't think that's going to be a problem so fingers crossed there so, all right, and Tina, I don't know if you just jumped on, but I was singing your praises um, and tell them about our, our class kit boxes um, because Sean was here today, so we started on that Facebook group for that. So, super excited. Um, you should even have a little invite to that, okay? All right, so without further ado, let's get started because I got so much stuff. I'm going to flip the camera. All right, over there, you're going to see all the mystery boxes laid out. Fun stuff, that is my next trade show box. Excited about that. Some more mystery boxes. This here, little teaser teaser. That is for the kit club that we've got that Tina designed. So all kinds of fun stuff going on. I've got something you know in the works for World Card Making Day, which is October 1st. So we have got so much stuff in in the works for you i i think i need an assistant i don't know i think i need one so <laughs> let's see and i need an assistant who likes to work for scrapbook supplies all right i'm gonna get you guys in here i'm also going to jump up here on my facebook to see if i can watch me live makes it a little bit easier for me to see your comments as we're going through now why I did not pop up my own feed as being live. I don't know. Usually I do that. <laughs> All right, I see my hand on my screen. So there, there we go. Woo -woo. All right, we're gonna start with Doodlebug Designs. Yay. So Doodlebug Designs is finally here. So we got in their Seaside Summer Kit. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you all your goodies in here. So this is the collection kit. We have this in collection kits and also open stock. This may still be listed as new for July since that's what we did the pre-orders for. All right, but here we go. So this one right here is called just regular seaside summer just like the name of the line then we've got surfs up cute little wave on the back island tropics that's a very pretty flower oh you guys can see my chair maybe i should scoot you up a little bit so you don't have to see my chair okay on the back. Oh, I know lots of you love flamingos. This one is called Flamingo Frenzy. Bring those up just a little bit so you can see how cute they are. And the back is a floral. Plaid, it's summer. And then kind of that iconic little doodlebug sun on the back. Here's a great cut apart page. So you've got four by fours. These could be four by sixes 
or just cut them apart individually. This one is called Palm Beach. On the back, you've got cute little palm trees. Having a ball. Oh, and then a good border strip page on the back. Under the sea. There's the back. Beach blanket. Good stripe on the back. Let's luau. Oh, and on the back, another great cut apart page. These are going to be three by fours. That's a good one. So this would be good just um, for page titles, accents, things that you can fussy cut, or some really cute and easy quick cards. This next one is called Beach Boulevard. A good diagonal on the back. Summer celebration. Ooh, that's got my good journaling page on the back. And then finally, we've got the sticker sheet. So you've got all kinds of cute little border stickers. Got some cute little arrows here. All these are separate. Super cute. Summer, hair gets lighter, skin gets darker, water gets warmer, drink gets cold, drinks get colder, music gets louder, nights get longer, life gets better. Isn't that the truth? That's a cute little quote there. Love that. So there is the collection kit. What else did we also get in? Well, let me show you. We've also got these little guys, which are sandtastic. This one here is the little enamel dots down by the sea. Enamel dots, summer celebration. Cute. More enamels. This one is just the summer assortment. This one here is seaside summer. Look at those adorable little flip flops. Are those not too stinking cute? We've got the summer rhinestones in there as well. This one here, look, it's got a little shaker in there cute is that this one is called gelato flavors this one here is tropical fish we also got in the six by six pad so it's gonna have all the same designs just shrunk down for you then we've got chit chat and odds and ends Friends, you get so much stuff in here. So I, I mean, I realize that the Doodlebug ones cost just a little bit more than what some of the other companies do. But I want to show you how much you get in here. And look how big they are, okay? They are bigger than a lot of the other companies are. And you get a little, and you get a lot more. So a little bit bigger and a lot more. So for a couple extra bucks, I mean, look at all these you're getting. Look at that little shark, love it. Having a fantastic time, H2O, surfs up. I mean, look at all these and that, I'm not even halfway through. Look at that little fish, oh my gosh. Even that little cutesy tootsie, love it. Palm trees and ocean breeze, the little crabs, all the little fish. There's little hearts in here at the, this is barefoot in the sand, lake life, girls just want to have sun. Oh, now that alone for a girl's trip that you're scrapbooking, that is, that's worth the whole pack right there. That is so cute. Perfect day. Oh, look, even a little happy birthday in there because all these backs and great colors work for everything. Life is sweet. So happy together, summer vacation, just for you. Hello there, here comes the sun. So that one there is Chit Chat. Again, 93 of them in there for $9.29. So 10 cents, 10 cents per die cut. That's like a deal all day long. All right, so let's pick up all those because otherwise you're gonna have 92 in this pack because I forgot a fish somewhere. Okay. All right, so there's Chit Chat. 
If you pre-ordered this line, you should have been contacted that we had your stuff in. I know some of them already went out in the mail. Some of them are queued for pickup. This one here, even bigger. This one is 116. This is the odds and ends. So when I flip it over and show you, chit chat is the words. Okay, some die cuts in there and little icons. This is all icons. So mini books, kids crafts. I know some of you do the little Rolodexes. These are great in your planners and journals. But again, look how nice and big these are. A lot of the companies, their packaging isn't even big enough for these. Oh, look how those would be so stinking cute, lined up on a little page. Look at all these in there. All the little beach houses. The little scooter, look at the little waves. The little lifeguard house. Boats, anchors. Oh, look at the puffer fish. Is he not adorable? Oh my gosh, all the little fish in here. Tropical drinks. The little seagulls. Big old pelicans. I was like, is that a popsicle? Nope, that's a like a little raft. Look how good these are. Oh my gosh. So, so good. The little beach towels all stacked up. More drinks, a beach chair, beach bag. And again, I think I probably have half the pack left to, to go through. So that's the odds and ends for the Seaside Summer from Doodlebug. So much, I can't even get them back into the container. So this one here, you get 116 for 1029. So that's less less than 10 cents a piece that's a bargain all day long oh my gosh just hold on look what just fell out look at the little bitty sunscreen that just came out oh adorable the little badminton little shells sand dollars so fun great great little kit there what else matches the line we've also got in the icons as well too so we got all the little icon stickers as well. Um, things that did not ship that are coming. We have washi tape coming and I think one more of the little um, small little like shaker, shaker stickers. Those were missing in my order, but they are on the way. So, all right, I'm going to move this to the side. So there is Doodlebug. So that was one order we got checked in. All right, next we got in a few things from Pink Fresh. I've got another order coming, but a few things so far. All right. So let me piece these apart here. All right, this is brand new. This one here is called Go For It. So Go For It has stencils and a die. I guess we did not get our stencil in yet. I've told you before, some of these ship a little bit, a little bit separate for whatever reason, but we've got stamp and die in so far. We also have a really fun new um, plaid stencil here. So let me show you this one. And it goes with this stamp set here. So as you can see, We've got all these cute different stripes in there. Okay, so one, two, three different stripes, which could be used on their own. Maybe just two of them, all three of them. And then whenever you come back and stamp that on top, that's when you get all those little fine detail lines. So this is gonna be really, really fun to play with. So this is the dainty plaid stamp and stencil. We've got both of those in. Those are from Pink Fresh. If you're shopping online, those should be listed under Pink Fresh. Oh, got it, Monica. Perfect. I am pulling that to the side right now in my hold for people pile. Got it. Thank you. Um, 
lost my train of thought here. Boy, isn't that, you know, I don't even think it's a train. I think it's like a hamster wheel and she is running in different directions. No, no train of thought. I don't even know why I say that anymore. <laughs> so we've got stencil and stamp here for that one from Pink Fresh. Then let's see what this one is. Oh, we got back in stock. This one also has washi that matches it, um, and the washi is on back order, but it is coming. And this one here is the jo Joyful Bouquet. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It is one of the washi tapes that has the, um, the gold foiling in it. So, so pretty. So we've got the stamp in right now, and we've got the die in right now. And then we've also got the stencil already here, and then the washi is on the way. So that there sunflowers I showed you the other day that we've got in some stuff for the sunflowers and I know we've still got dyes coming we got dyes in today with this order but I think they were all spoken for already so we'll get the dyes back in it's gonna be very similar to looking like this then you've got your stencil as well and we've got the washi tape now I want to show you something super cool that they just did they just released a fall version of this washi tape. All right, I'm going to open this one up. So if you get this one, know that I did not use it. I was just showing people in the demo, you know how I do, but I want you to kind of see the difference in the color. And I, I think it's not showing up great. Okay, so You've got, let me find, whenever you do the washi tapes from Pink Fresh, just so you know, you've got at least 40 of these washi strips in there. So look at this as I pull it out. Look at how beautiful this washi is. Is that not gorgeous? And I know you're getting glare because of all the foiling in there. I'm going to bring it close so you can kind of see how much foiling is on this. So this one here is, oh, there's my thumb real big. This one here is the fall version now. It's got much deeper colors to it. Still got that really pretty purple in there, but they deepened up the color on that one. So it's not so bright see yeah see there you can kind of tell but again I know it's it's a little shiny because of the packaging but is that not there we go those are the same ones right there so pretty so here's what this means if you've already bought this whole set for another washi you've got a whole new look which I think is awesome and I tell you all the time I love when companies support their own products so super excited that the those of you that have already picked up the stencils and the stamp set and the die set, now you've got a whole nother way to play with your die set with some new washi. So super fun about that, super excited. So that is what came in for Pink Fresh. So got that, all right. What next? What pile do I wanna show you next? All right, let's just do some, some regular stuff that came in. We got in just some sunflower stickers. These are from Sticko, and they are vellum stickers. Super cute. Washi tape came in from Echo Park. It is that beautiful buffalo plaid that is always super popular. That is in. Magic of Christmas. So with Magic of Christmas, Echo Park did some bundle, like mega bundles. And we got in the Magic of Christmas mega bundle. We also have a bundle going on with this with Air. So if you've already bought that, um, I mean, you definitely could buy this. But it doesn't have nearly what the Air bundle does. So this one, you're going to get your collection kit. You're going to get your solids kit. You're going to get one of the chipboard accents and a chipboard phrase. You're gonna get puffy stickers, ephemera, and frames and tags. So I've got that that just came in. So mega bundle there. 
Another thing that just came in that isn't exactly this line, but I think the enamels kind of work for everybody. This one here is the letters for Santa enamel dots. See those? So that just came in. All right. So we've got some Echo Park going on. Let me show you some other Echo Park that came in. The Welcome Fall. We got in the adhesive brads. I love that orange old truck on there. Frames and tags. The Welcome Fall chipboard phrases. And the Letters to Santa chipboard accents. I love that cute little Santa Claus. Letters to Santa solids are in. Oh, is it raining again out there? Dang on it. That figures. Thanks, Debbie. Cool. It's like my I can't keep up with my lawn right now. It's it's either too wet to mow or then it's too high to mow, which of course you know it's not too high to mow. But oh it does make a great weather to craft in. Yes, it does. It makes for slow days in a craft store. I I will tell you that though. So that's never never too fun when it, it's when it's not good weather it is slow in here all right hocus pocus so we got these in by collection kits only these are from echo park um actually the cartabella line which is owned which is owned by echo park and this is by stephen duncan so stephen duncan he's a well-known artist and his style is you know i mean you can if you know stephen it's you can tell his stuff no matter where you're at he has kind of a very distinct um, almost like a retro kind of look. So these little pumpkins here, super cute. And the way he has them shaded, it it looks like the sun is hitting them the way the, the lights cast on them. Then on the back, you've got these creepy little spiders. See, look, I mean, look how fun this paper here is with, you know, kind of the uh, man-eating plants. It just, it, it really has that vintage vibe to it love it and then of course it's on that um, cartabella paper which I, I love the feel of the cartabella i want candy Isn't that cute on the back little pumpkins we've got some bats spooky scenery there oh little shop of horrors yes it does kind of look like little shop of horrors but i bet they can't say that because there's got to be some kind of you know copyright infringement but definitely little shop of horrors there some good stars on the back of that one something wicked this way comes ghosts goblins and ghouls oh my if you can't fly with the big girl stay off the broom black cats wing of bats and witches hats trick or treat keep calm and scare on then a good little brooms page on the back you could even use that for Harry Potter stuff as well skeletons on one side it's like bats on a string on the other one really cute cute little back black cats and I love with the little butt showing you see that <laughs> I love it oh just a good stripe on the back spider webs on one side Little jack-o'-lanterns on the other all kinds of fun little cut aparts here that even kind of reminds me of one of the Tim um, Tim Holtz dies from a couple years ago creep it real <laughs> too cute to spook I put a spell on you what's up pumpkin cute back ghosts on one side just a really good subtle stripe um, but it's got some print in there too if I turn it a little bit, there's, you can see cast in there. There's, um, looks almost like a creepy hand up here, spider down there, some old kind of trees down here. Really fun. It's a lot of good texture in that one. More pumpkins. A good one that you can use as your solid. Hats on one side. Another one you can use as a solid. Let's kind of turn it so you can see. So almost like print on print. You've got all these kind of viney tentacles, like old old roots and stuff in there and then finally the sticker sheet very very cute so that one there like I said that is from Carnabella. it's called Hocus Pocus designed by Stephen Duncan 
That one we got in just in page kits. I did not do that one as a line, just the page kits on that one. Uh, let's see here. Next up, so this one here we got in the journaling cards the other day. And we also got in the washi the other day. Halloween kit, perfect. I will get that held for you, Miss Debbie. I'm gonna put that, change it over to my other pile. So this one is by uh, Memory Place is the name of the company. And this all comes out of Japan. It's got a beautiful look to it. And this one here is all Alice in Wonderland themed. And again, this one we did not do open stock. I don't even know if they have open stock, but we did the collection kits. So one side, look at that beautiful. Dang, I love that one. Ooh, that's good and then a cut apart on the other a great clock on one side cut aparts on the other I mean look look at the detail in these are those not pretty so cool I love these all right so here's the next one in your collection kit and I just love how it's got all this whimsy, topsy turny. And then the back is just a good solid. I love this too, Tina. It is so pretty. The washi tape is so stinking cute. The little journaling cards are awesome. Here's this one here. I'll go down so you can see it. There's the back. I just I love the texture on these, even if you don't use it in the kit. I mean, I, I love these, you know, I have teenagers and this is just perfect for a lot of teenager pictures. So cool. Here's your next paper in your collection kit. How fun is that one? The little playing cards follow, falling. Oh, and then a playing cards on the back. Oh, how cool. I love this paper line. Little cut aparts here. You can make a little journal out of that one even. Almost like little ATC or trading cards on the other side. So there is that collection kit. So again, this one is called Wonderland. It is up on the site as well too. So if you're wanting to shop online, otherwise you can snag it right here from the video. I think we got in three of these to start with. So those just came in. So I've got those for you. All right, next one is from Fall Fever. We're gonna jump back to Echo Park here. I forgot that I had this one. This one is the collection kit for Fall Fever. And I did show you this paper the other day, so I'll just kind of run through it quickly. Um, so we just looked at um, some of the stuff in the Welcome Fall. So you can kind of see the difference in the colors here. So Welcome Fall is Cartabella. And then the Fall Fever is just regular Echo Park. So here's their sticker sheet. And then I'll run through these kind of quick because I know I did show them the other day. It was the one where I accidentally ordered two of this one and I forgot to um, order one of the papers. So we couldn't even make our collection kits. But now we have the other paper in. So we've got collection kits now. Just flipping through quick. Like I said, I know we've already done our walkthrough on these. And this one here is the one that I forgot. This one is called Gingham Gourds. So that's the one I didn't show you the other day because my little chubby fingers, I hit two of the plaid and not any of that one. So we've got those in now. So we've got collection kits assembled. And I know a couple of you had already ordered them online. So those orders went out today as we were waiting on that one paper. So I apologize on that. But, so we've got collection kits ready to go for fall fever now as well. All right, next up, we got in another, so our sunflowers, everything seems to have sunflowers right now. Um, and lots of people are wanting sunflower stickers. So we've got a couple different ones in this order. These are from Jolie's. They've got more of that realistic look to them. And you can see they've got almost like little micro beads in the centers there. Really, really pretty. So those came in. All kinds of new basil paper has been arriving. 
This one here is called Orange Aglow, and it is really bright, and it is so, so cool. It's going to be really fun for your Halloween stuff, Halloween projects, Halloween crafts. It's going to be a good orange for that. Restock on the It's a Boy Solids from Echo Park. And this beautiful paper here has been on back order, I think, for a month and a half. And I was starting to get scared that we weren't even going to get it. But it finally arrived. Yay. So got that back in stock. And this is from the Spectrum Sorbet line from 49 and Market. And it is the Classics Butterfly Flight. It was one of our best sellers. Sold out right away. Um... And I think I already had two packs of it to start out with, and I don't even do two packs. And so this is pack number three, and look at the back. So this is why it sold out. I mean, it's a good front, even better back. Um, so yeah, beautiful paper, finally back in stock. So that's back online again. All right. Ooh. We're going to keep moving down the line. So let's look at more 49 and Market since I just showed you that. How fun. Look at this all right so the other day i showed you guys that we did get in the serenity paper but that was all that shipped nothing else well my friends today is that day so let's start out with the washi tape and there are still a few things to come so for those of you that have pre-ordered this um, as it comes in, we are pulling the stuff that you pre-ordered. So if you haven't heard from us yet, you're like, well, she got it all in. I didn't get it all in. But whatever came in that you ordered, we've already got it pulled. So this one here is some of their super awesome, super big washi, which I love for my pages, adding texture. But I also think it's great for decorating mini books and putting on the spines. Their washi tape also has a cute little cutter that comes with it too, so you can quickly and easily slice off what you need with your washi tape. So that is included in the box. Love that. And then we've got nice big, what is that, like two inch washi tape here. Pop this up a little bit so you guys can see it. Come on. Work with me just a little bit. We are live right now. Oh, and look at that. Isn't that nice now? A lot of washi, when I would do that, you know it would not come off all together. I, I would, it would have started to tear, but it did not. Very nice. So, so you have got, all right. So here, and then all the way over to here until it starts to repeat again. So you can definitely do a whole spine of a mini book. I'm going to turn it that way. You can see a little better. And you're not going to get a repeat. That's nice. So that's one of the washies in there. Let me carefully wind that back on. All right, next washi that we have in here is this really pretty floral one. Let me get it started. And I'm even going to try. Look, I am even thought I would even try to make it tear. Nope, it did not. That is good washi, friends. Look how beautiful that one is. Oh, my gosh. Love that one. Turn it both ways. So pretty. Again, that's another one that's about two inches wide on the washi. And then you've got a small one in there that's like a lace. Really pretty. So got those washi tapes in, three rolls in there. Then we got in the remnants kit. So remnants are really fun for building your layers. Check those out. Not gonna go through them all, but friends, save your packaging too. Her packaging is absolutely stunning. I know you can do things with her packaging too. Many of you probably already do. You're probably like, oh yeah, shoot, Hannah, I've been saving her packaging for years. So look at all these fun little layers that you can use in here. Just little things to tuck behind. Really fun. 
If you do any like journaling, junk books, these are great for those as well too. So that's the remnants. Um, you get 24 pieces in there. So lots of remnants in all different sizes. Next, we're gonna look at the chipboard set. Here's the chipboard set. So in here, just to give you a quick little look on the back, you got quite a few pieces in there. I think it said 64, yep, 64. So to kind of give you an idea, it is a nice thick chipboard. It has adhesive. Does it have adhesive on the back? Let me see here, maybe not. Nope, I don't think it does. No, oops, sorry, sorry friends. No adhesive on the back. I'm good with that though because I was just about to tell you if it has adhesive, add your own. I never trust the adhesive that comes on the back of these little chipboard pieces. I always add my own liquid glue. So all kinds of great little bits and pieces in there, all, all different sizes. Little book plates in there, just some fun little circles in there. Oh, and look. Look how it even has like texturizing, almost like it's like got a little bit of sanding or gesso on there for you. I mean, that is attention to detail. I love that. All that's kind of already done for you. Same thing with the little heart here. It totally looks like it's been watercolored. So pretty. So that, oh, butterfly almost tried to get away. That's the chipboard pieces for the Serenity line. So those are $6.29 you've got 64 pieces in there. So again, 10, 10 cents a little piece of chipboard. That's awesome. Here, this, this is something new that, that, that they did. These are little frames, and they're all kinds of chipboard frames. And they're all different shapes and sizes in there, too. Let me show you these because I think with the packaging, it, it kind of leads it a little bit astray. And these are adhesive. So you've got like one big frame there, then you've got a little double frame here you can use. Here comes another little single frame. Here's another little frame. Here's another little frame. And then just a fun square that you've got in the middle that you could you know, stamp on and do kinds of all fun things with. So these are frame stickers. So again, when we pull this one, you've got this main little the little one on the outside okay see that one there then you've got this one here that you could paint gesso ink stamp whatever you want to do then you've got another one here another one here again that you can do as white or you can ink it spray it stain it distress it whatever another one here and then a little center chipboard piece so these frames are really, really fun, and that is something they have added into the line. So you get 15 of them. Now, they are only counting the skinny ones. I count more than that because we're crafty. We have stamps, we have inks, we can totally use these bigger frames as well. So with that said, like if this pack has, they only thought one, two, three, we really got like one, two, three, four, five, five frames right right in that one pack so fun new addition to the line there here's the tag set so in the tag set again look at that packaging guys isn't that pretty i mean that right there whenever you're done with this cut that off at a sentiment and it's a card so cool so the little tags they're printed on one side not on the other you've got all different shapes in here as well so so pretty with the tags they've all got an eyelet on them and they all have a little tied piece of string on them as well so it's not something you've got to add it's already done for you and again beautiful packaging so that's the tag set for serenity then we got in the solids collection kit for Serenity. Um, we put these up for pre-order and I did have, um, I think one person pre-ordered some of the sheets individually. Everybody else took them in packs. So what we are doing is we're going to open up one pack 
sell it individually so we can get the herds out of it and everything else is going to be in the collection kit. So that's what you're going to see online. So if you're wanting just a couple, there are a few limited ones, um, but from now on it will it'll all be regular. So this is kind of a bonus on the back. And then you've got the dark blue and the light blue, two of that. Then you've got this pretty brown color and a light ivory. You can see all the texture in there. Same thing for this one here. That's solids paper number three. And then there's the darker on the back. This one here, it's kind of got like some watermarks in it. And then a good linen texture there. So that's the solids kit for Serenity. And then finally, we got in the laser cut elements for Serenity. And I, remember, I told you all this paper is already here. I showed you that um, one day last week, I believe. We got all the paper in already. This stuff was shipping separate. So with the lasers, um, let me see if I can open these for you because the lasers are so intricate, it makes them very delicate. And I don't want to mess up someone's pack. So with the lasers here, you've got four sheets that are six by 12 and a half. And maybe if I just flip through them very nice and easy. So you've got a bonus on the back, all cut apart. But then, I'll grab this and show you guys here. Okay, look, look at the detail. Can you see that detail in those? I mean, it truly looks like lace. And it's paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we've got lace and tickets here, ticket stubs. We've got some words, some old keys. Oh my gosh, friends, that old key, watch that. See the white come behind it? All of that is cut out too. Is that not gorgeous? I mean, it is just crazy. And the other side, Look at all the, the filigree in that frame, little stamps, little moth. We've got some frames here, this really cool ladder piece. It is so, so amazing, the detail and the quality in these lasers. Look at all the flowers there, absolutely beautiful. All right, so that is the laser pieces for Serenity. And the last two things um, to show you before we move on to the other 49 and Market line is we just got back in some of the little folios. So we've got a black um, quad folio in and a white quad folio in. So those came in. So super fun about that. All right. Whew. All right. Here we go. So excited about this pile. We got in, uh, I think it's Elena, A-L-E-N-A. -E I'm horrible with phonics. I've told you guys that. So I just kind of pronounce things how I want to. But look how pretty. So this one is flirty. There's the back of flirty. So there's that paper that just came in. Next one, so you can see the back there. And then the front, this is dramatic. But look, did you even notice this? I love that strip. Look at the detail in that little strip even. This is why as crafters, we, we can't get rid of anything and we hoard everything. That is beautiful. I mean, that's got as much design in it. And, and it does, it's not even, sometimes it's what's on the front. It's a little teaser. Nope, not this one. This one here, you had a little doily. So pretty. All right, so here's dramatic, front and back. Next up, like the detail on that one, a cute little stitching. This one here is peekaboo. So again, front and the back. 
Now with this one, if you just want one of each, two of each, just let me know. And then that way we'll pull them that way for you. If there are specific papers you want, we will definitely pull your specific ones. So here we've got a little diagonal as your little strip piece there. This one is called Happy Dancers. Really pretty butterflies up there. So you can tell, I mean, these two lines, the the style is the same, but oh my word, I mean, the two colors are, I mean, totally, you couldn't be more opposite. Serenity truly is. It's very calm and peaceful, and this one is just like, wow, I love all the colors. Love them, love them, love them. Oh, yes, use those little strips for sure. I use them like they're washi tape or something. I always save those. So here is the back. Here is the front. This one is called Alluring Moments. So pretty. Oh, this next one. Tanya, if you were working on this in a crop, I wouldn't even tell you to take that out of the trash. I would wait till you would leave and I would dig this one out myself. Look at these adorable little postage stamp borders on there. I mean, you know, I mean, a company that pays that much attention to things, it's not just a repeat of what's on the other side. This is a whole little design element that they have to put on there. Just the attention to detail is amazing with this company. This one here is called Full Bloom. So pretty. Next up, here's the back. Your bonus little strip says, see the beauty, the right stuff, and fill my heart. And then the front side, this one is exquisite. That was supposed to be laughing faces. I got laughing faces, all the one sad one. Well, you can be sad because I wouldn't tell you. That's okay. And then I would just tell you, well, you have to buy another piece now, I guess, because you threw it away. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Here's this one called Garland. And then that's just their back tags when we put them out, I believe. All right, so there's all the papers for that line. I'm gonna move them over to the big table because I am out of room here. All right, more from that line. I did show you the fabric tape the other day, okay? Then we've got their chipboards. All kinds of great little pieces in there. Again, looking at that attention to detail. I always go through and sand things, add ink to things, and they've already got that detail covered. How cool is that? You've got little labels in here. You've got tags in here, little banners in here, even more labels, and the backs are plain on them. So if you wanted to use these on a whole separate project, you can. You know, ink them, stamp them a totally different color and you could use this for a different project. So that's the chipboard set. That has, let's see how many pieces in there, 61 pieces in there for 629. So again, you're looking at 10 cents a piece. And I think that helps me when I break it down like that because sometimes I lose these and I feel really bad when I lose them. I'm like, oh, 10 cents, that's not too bad. That's not too bad because they get covered up, they fall off my table, things like that. So embrace life. I love that little quote in there. And there you can kind of see everything you're getting. All right, other things we got for that line. We also got in the lasers. We got in the tags. And we got, oh, holiday wishes. Oh, I didn't even know holiday wishes was in there. Friends, that means holiday wishes will be on the way as well. Super fun. So I may just wait for that until holiday wishes comes in. But the tag sets there. Let's look at the laser elements, though, if we can again. Those are so beautiful. Again, that same amazing detail. 
is in there. Well, this is, has nice big um, like frames in it too. I like that. More frames, some flower pieces. It's really cool little window cage, whatever you want to call it. Yep, once again, all those little lace pieces. Look at these strings. Oh my gosh. Holy guacamole. That is, I, I, I shouldn't be amazed. I mean, I know that things like that can be, definitely be done, but it just, it always is so, so cool to watch. And then this is the packaging. And so then these would be bonus cutouts for you. So that is the Elena um, laser cut elements. You got 84 in there. I'm slide those back in because I don't want to just set those to the side because they're a little, I don't say delicate as in, you know, they're that delicate, but I definitely don't want them to pop out and try and put them back in the package. All right. Okay. So that is everything from 49 in market that came in. Other fun things. Move my piles over here. Yes, I have more piles. Whew. Got a couple fun things from my favorite things. So this one here is all kinds of little wine and beer glasses. And then there's this really fun little stamp set that you can use with it. So I can't beer to be without you. Happy beer day to you. I miss your mug. Cheers. Here's to you and your amazingness. Don't worry, beer happy. I love crafts. Um, have a happy birthday. Every hour with you is a happy one. I owe you one or several. Um, and then you make me happy. So, so fun. And we also got in the other day, we had another stamp set and then that cute little gnome set that had the little gnomes and they had little beer mugs with them as well. So that just came in. This young lady here, this is Maisie the Mouse. We've had her quite a few times. She is quite the little, she's quite the saleswoman. She just sells herself on on the shelf. See, she is so stinking cute. And I love these fun little fuzzy friends where they kind of have the little squiggles as their outline. And it says, I don't mean to be cheesy, but have a mice birthday. So cute. This one here is another reorder. We had ran out of this one already. This one is the birthday snails. It says, sending love. You're so special with love. We got back in some of the large tags from Graphic 45. This little guy here sold out right away. And I didn't even realize it. So we were without it for a couple weeks. This is great for whenever you're working on a project and you need to hold something. It's a lot bigger than a tweezer, so it gives you a little bit more surface area than a tweezers. And honestly, they're just stinking cute. So, so fun. That is the Handle It Tool from Ranger. And they're $3.79. I mean, cute and less than four bucks. You can't even get a good coffee for less than four bucks. So these just make me happy. And there you can see them right there. Um, and so with these here, the soft silicon hands are sturdy enough to hold heavy cardstock and gentle enough to not leave any marks on delicate paper, even vellum. Okay, and they can withstand the heat emitted from an, an embossing heat tool. Large tags, you got it, my friend. Put them in my pile. Thank you much. As you know, my family went to Ohio, so therefore I had to special order some Ohio stickers for myself. So now these got added to the store. So we've got two extra to sell for the great state of Ohio. Thank you, Ohio, for making my vacation wonderful. And then we were out of poster stickers. Um, these are large alphabet stickers. So these are gonna be perfect for those senior boards because we're going back to school. So if you are already back to school and so there's gonna be all those senior nights again. So we've got this for that reason. So the gold stickers are back in stock. This one here is just a fun, little sticker for the holidays, black and gold, 
decked out, joyful, love, bright, mer or merry and bright, snow, enjoy, snuggle, let it, and there's joy, be, winter wishes, the season of, wonder, happy, um, story, holiday, magic, December, all kinds of great ones, and all these little gold accents in there. So this is the Joyful Puppy Phrase Stickers. The Totally Tiffany Slimline Boxes, those sold out in our last live. We didn't even have any that made it to the shelf. This one here is just the Slimline Box. There's no, no um, dividers or anything else like that in, in here. This is just the box. Um, I'm thinking maybe those were back ordered last time and they didn't come in, but the divided ones did. This is just the box. And once it is assembled, it's going to be three and a half by five by ten. So perfect for all your slimline dies, your slimline stamp sets, all that good stuff. Back in stock, the Ultimate Craft Pins. So these used to be called Slick Riders, and now they only come in a multi-pack. So they are great for all kinds of slick surfaces. They're great for writing on your photos or even the back of your photos, and they won't smear. So love those. And then this one you get a bold, medium, and a fine. And they're only just a little bit over six bucks. So two bucks a marker is a great deal on those. This here is the tiny attacher from Tim Holtz. And right there kind of shows you its size. Oh, Debbie loves it. I love those slick riders. Um, I was kind of sad. Uh, there for a while I couldn't find them so I was really sad that they went away for a while but obviously they were just repackaging packaging reformatting all that good stuff all right so friends this is a tiny attacher from Tim Holtz and it is my go-to stapler whenever I am working on anything crafts and the reason for that is it is super strong so this mechanism okay this roundabout kind of mechanism gives you more, I guess, more torque, more force, whatever, um, for whenever you are punching through something. And I have even gone through ribbon before with this, and it did not snag my ribbon. So it's super great. Now, I'm going to show you through here. So like this right here, it went through it like butter like butter, so I guess that's not the size. Um, so I'm like, I think that might be the size, it's kind of in between. But this just went through one, two layers of that thick packaging and chipboard like it was nothing. So I mean, obviously paper's gonna be just fine, but again, I've got two layers of packaging and chipboard here. It goes right through it. I cannot stress enough how great this stapler is. I love mine. Um, the kids will often steal it out of my office because it's just, it's a good stapler. Um, it doesn't jam up. I, I never have any problems with mine. I love, love that stapler. Um, I've even, I have one very similar by Fiskars that is bigger for full size staples. And I, I mean, it's about 25 bucks for that stapler. I love it because it does not jam. So this one here is perfect for your crafting purposes. You know, you can take it to the back of something, staple it in place, attach things together. It's super strong, they're super cute. And a little tip here, if you want to color your staples to make them fun for your project, take a Sharpie or your Copic markers or your alcohol inks and you can color these as well. So tiny attachers are back in stock. We also got back in one of the um, Tim Holtz Sizzix texture fades, so embossing folders. And this one here is called Woven. Restock on this little guy here. This one is the Hey Chick stamp set. You can kind of see actual size there. 
So you get a, a hen, a hen with a chick, and then you've got hay chick, farm fresh, some little footprints, and some eggs there. My pile's are almost done. We got some bee stickers back in stock, super cute. We got the metal tips for the art glitter glue back in stock. We also got our little red birds stickers back in stock. And I know for like a hot second, not too, too long, we ran out of our Tombow adhesive. So all three of our Tombows are back in stock. So this one is your original. It's got the dispenser and a refill in it. This is just a single refill. This is three refills. Um, I know it's a little deceiving the way they package them. Like this one they package this way. But these, they flip the other way. So sometimes people think this is the original and they get three. Nope, these are refills here. So original with a refill, and then these are just refills. Okay? And then finally, last thing I've got to show you. We got an order from Fancy Pants In, but I'm using most of it for other things. So I can't show you that. But we did get in these really fun little retro cards and um, tags. So I thought they were really fun. So Mrs. Claus Bakery, Cookies for Santa. This has all different kinds of little recipe books stacked on there. Whisking You a Merry Little Christmas. Santa's Cookies Do Not Open Before December 25th. So all kinds of fun little bits and pieces in this pack. I thought these would just be really cute um, for tags. You know, a lot of times we do baked goods or homemade candies. We're doing things, you know, for church stuff. So you can label your dishes with these. You can attach them on as little tags. You can put a hand, little handmade note on a handmade, little handwritten note on the back as well. So I thought those were just kind of fun, something a little different. So we picked those up as well. So, whew. All right, friends. I know I think I went on and on and on forever, um, but that's... That's what happens whenever um, I'm a few days behind on orders. Kaylin is back. Leslie is starting to knock out some orders too. So that totally helped me to, to get caught back up. So all the orders are checked in. Super exciting. And like I said, we've got class emails getting ready to go out. That retreat email just went out. And then be on the lookout for some mystery boxes too. And then all the good stuff that we just checked in. So until next time, friends, I am Hannah the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're checking us out on YouTube when we send it on the replay, um, check out the links that we'll have below. And then that way, all of this, if it is still available, um, you're going to be able to check it out in the new for July and the new for August, depending um, when we actually kind of entered it into the system since we're right on kind of the cusp. But thank you so, so, back for, so, so much for tuning in. And hopefully I'll be back with more stuff to tell you tomorrow right around 4 o'clock. All right, friends, have a great evening. And um, try and make it a crafty one. See you soon. Bye. Well, we've been on for so long. I think I froze my, my phone up and it won't even. Oh, it says low battery. That's why. There we go. Finished. See you, ladies.